Do you feel safe in your own country anymore? Because the reality is, America is under attack. The threat isn't just across the ocean or at our borders, it's here, right in your own backyard. Strange incidents and unexplained events are unfolding across the nation, and our food security is on the line. You think you're prepared for what's coming? Think again. This video is about 15 essential foods to stockpile for an enemy invasion on mainland USA. The kinds of foods that could be your lifeline when everything else falls apart. We're talking about the real deal. Supplies to keep you and your family alive when grocery store shelves go empty and chaos is on your doorstep. But that's not all. You know the media has been quiet about it, but it's time to bring the truth to light. Have you heard about what's happening right now? According to a former United States Air Marshal, private airline companies have multi-billion dollar contracts with the Department of Defense to fly illegal immigrants back and forth. Not deportations, but luxury return trips. All at the expense of the American taxpayer. And you're paying for the revolving door of illegal immigration. An endless cycle where individuals are voluntarily leaving the U.S. to visit home for family gatherings, only to return here, courtesy of your hard-earned tax dollars. Shackled like prisoners one moment, then celebrated and cheered as they land back home the next. It's an in-and-out service that rivals the privileges of any frequent flyer program, except it's for people who've broken our laws and have no right to be here in the first place. Our government isn't just complicit, it's aiding and abetting. While the media turns a blind eye, private airlines are buying more planes and expanding operations, making a fortune from these DOD contracts. And if you thought this was only a border issue, guess again. From Louisiana to Texas, California to Florida, these flights are taking off daily, hidden in plain sight. But that's just the beginning. We're staring down the barrel of massive food shortages, shortages that could be triggered at any moment by disruptions, an enemy attack, or even civil unrest. So what happens when millions of unprepared Americans storm the stores in a panic? What happens when desperate people do desperate things? That's where the 15 essential preps for an enemy invasion come in. We're not talking your average canned goods or boxed mac and cheese. These are the critical supplies that will keep you alive when everything else is gone. 1. High-protein canned meats. When the crisis hits and the supply chains break down, fresh meat will be one of the first luxuries to disappear. That's why high-protein canned meats like chicken, beef, and fish are at the top of your stockpile list. This isn't just about filling your stomach. It's about sustaining your strength and vitality when you're faced with extreme conditions. Canned meats have a long shelf life, often lasting anywhere from two to five years if stored properly, and they don't require refrigeration. But here's the critical point. You can't afford to be without a steady source of protein, especially if you're forced into a high-stress, physically demanding situation. Protein is essential for muscle maintenance, immune function, and energy. When the grid goes down and grocery stores are stripped bare, this might be your only chance to keep your body functioning at peak performance. Don't underestimate what happens when your protein levels drop. Fatigue, weakened immunity, and mental fog will set in fast. And don't think for a second that an enemy won't target our food production facilities. Whether it's a cyber attack that cripples meat processing plants or direct sabotage of supply routes, the vulnerabilities are glaring. Remember the colonial pipeline attack? It wasn't just about fuel. It exposed how fragile our entire infrastructure is. Meat and protein sources will become a rare commodity overnight. Stock up on canned meats like chicken, beef, tuna, or salmon in various sizes. Make sure you have manual can openers and portable heating sources, as power may be limited. If you can, look for vacuum-sealed and freeze-dried meats that can last up to 25 years. 2. Dried beans and lentils. Beans and lentils are powerhouses of nutrition, packed with protein, fiber, and essential minerals like iron and magnesium. When other food supplies dwindle, these humble legumes will be your savior. Dried beans and lentils have an astonishing shelf life of up to 10 years or more, making them an invaluable part of your survival pantry. But consider this. Dried beans aren't just about nutrition. They're about independence. When you have bags of beans stored away, you're not just securing food. 
You're securing freedom from the chaos that's bound to ensue when millions of Americans flood supermarkets in a frenzy, grabbing whatever's left. By the time you hear about food shortages on the news, it'll already be too late. Store shelves will be stripped in hours, and people will be fighting over the scraps. And don't assume it'll just be natural disasters or economic collapse driving these shortages. Think about how easy it would be for an enemy to weaponize food scarcity. Imagine strategic cyber attacks on agricultural systems or even bioterrorism aimed at destroying crops. We're not immune. You think China, Russia, or rogue actors like North Korea haven't considered this? Think again. Food is a weapon, and we're a vulnerable target. Stockpile a variety of beans. Black beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils. Store them in airtight containers with oxygen absorbers to maximize shelf life. Learn how to cook them over an open flame or on a wood stove. These foods will keep you full, sustain your energy, and provide the nutrients your body needs to keep functioning when everything else has fallen apart. 3. Rice and Grains Rice and grains are more than just food. They're a critical survival tool. When your options are limited, these bulk staples can keep you and your family fed for months, even years. White rice alone, stored in a cool, dry environment, can last for up to 30 years without losing nutritional value. Combined with other grains like quinoa, barley, and cornmeal, these foods can provide the essential carbohydrates and energy needed to endure prolonged hardships. But let's get serious for a moment. Picture a future where these basics are no longer accessible. Global food supplies are shrinking, and extreme weather patterns are already disrupting crop yields across the world. From droughts devastating America's wheat fields to unprecedented flooding in rice-producing nations like India and Thailand, we're witnessing the collapse of global grain production right before our eyes. America imports a staggering amount of rice and specialty grains every year. In 2022 alone, the U.S. imported over $1.3 billion worth of rice from countries like Thailand and India. Our domestic production isn't enough to meet demand, and any disruption be it economic sanctions, transportation bottlenecks, or international conflicts, could spell disaster for millions of Americans dependent on these imports. Now add to that the growing possibility of cyber attacks or sabotage targeting America's food infrastructure. If you think our grain supply is safe, remember how a single ransomware attack crippled the colonial pipeline. Imagine what happens when hackers or hostile entities target our agricultural networks, grain elevators, or processing plants. Your local grocery store won't just have empty shelves. It'll be a war zone as people fight over what little remains. 4. Powdered milk. You might think of powdered milk as a secondary option to fresh dairy, but in a crisis scenario, it's a lifeline you can't afford to overlook. While fresh milk will spoil within days without refrigeration, powdered milk remains stable and safe for up to 20 years if stored correctly. It's not just about having a milk substitute for your morning coffee. It's about maintaining your nutritional intake in a time of scarcity. Fresh dairy products like milk, butter, and cheese are among the first items to vanish when disaster strikes. Our dairy supply chain is highly dependent on consistent transportation, refrigeration, and farm operations, all of which are extremely vulnerable to disruption. Imagine a nationwide blackout, EMP attack, or cyber assault targeting the power grid. Within hours, dairy farms will be forced to dump thousands of gallons of milk because there's no way to keep it cool. Millions of dollars worth of food wasted in a heartbeat. And that's just the beginning. The U.S. dairy industry is already under immense strain from economic pressures, environmental regulations, and labor shortages. Add in the possibility of a targeted bioterrorism attack or the spread of a contagious disease like foot and mouth disease, and you're looking at a complete collapse of America's dairy industry. In 2020, the USDA reported over 44,000 cattle were culled due to disease outbreaks. A large-scale event could take that number into the millions. Consider how dependent we've become on imported dairy products, especially powdered milk from countries like New Zealand and Ireland. Any geopolitical conflict or trade war could choke off these imports, leading to severe shortages that will ripple across the nation. Your morning bowl of cereal or cup of tea could become a distant memory. 5. Canned Vegetables and Fruits You think grabbing a few cans of veggies and fruit will be enough? Think again. 
When disaster strikes and our food supply chain grinds to a halt, fresh produce will vanish from shelves in a matter of hours. We're already seeing major disruptions across the nation. Record-breaking heat waves and floods have decimated crops in California, Texas, and the Midwest. Climate change, supply chain issues, and now the reality of potential enemy attacks make fresh produce more vulnerable than ever. If you're not prepared with a proper stock of canned vegetables and fruits, you're putting your health and well-being on the line. You need these canned goods for essential vitamins, fiber, and minerals that you can't get from processed junk or bulk grains alone. It's not just about surviving physically. It's about keeping your mental health intact. In a prolonged crisis, malnutrition and scurvy become very real threats when fresh produce is out of reach. But let's get brutally honest. The enemy knows our weakness. The American agricultural industry is under constant threat, not just from natural disasters, but from deliberate attacks. Remember when hackers breached JBS, the world's largest meat supplier in 2021? That's just the tip of the iceberg. Now imagine a cyber assault on America's largest fruit and vegetable producers, like Dole or Del Monte. It would take mere hours to cripple these companies, cut off our supply lines and trigger widespread panic. And the government isn't going to save you. The Department of Defense and Homeland Security have already flagged the agricultural sector as critical infrastructure. But guess what? That doesn't mean it's protected. Our borders are leaking like a sieve. Every day, unvetted individuals are crossing into this country. And who's to say they're not here to disrupt our food supply chain? Terror cells could be embedding in our farmlands right now, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. One coordinated attack on a few key facilities, and your grocery store aisles will look like a barren wasteland. Stockpile a wide range of canned vegetables and fruits. Focus on nutrient-dense options like tomatoes, spinach, sweet potatoes, and mixed vegetables for essential vitamins like A, C, and K. Don't overlook canned fruits like peaches, pears, and pineapple for a source of quick energy and to keep morale high when everything else is bleak. Store them in a cool, dry place, away from moisture and temperature fluctuations. If possible, diversify your stock with freeze-dried vegetables and fruits as well. These will last up to 25 years and can easily be rehydrated when needed. The coming crisis will make fresh produce a distant memory. So prepare now while you still have the chance. 6. Honey. You might think honey is just for sweetening your tea or baking, but this isn't just another food item. Honey is a survival superfood. This natural sweetener has been used for thousands of years, not only because of its taste, but because it has unique preservative properties and an indefinite shelf life. Properly stored, honey never goes bad. When other sweeteners and processed foods start rotting, Honey remains stable and safe to eat, making it an essential item for any serious prepper's stockpile. But don't let its sweetness fool you. Honey is a powerhouse when it comes to survival. It's packed with energy-dense carbohydrates and can even act as a natural medicine. Honey has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties, making it useful for treating wounds, soothing sore throats, and preventing infections when antibiotics aren't available. It's a versatile food that can lift your spirits and keep you going when everything else is falling apart. Now, think about what's happening in the country right now. Our bee populations are under attack from pesticides, disease, and even climate change. The U.S. honeybee population has dropped by over 40% in the last decade alone. This decline isn't just a threat to honey. It's a threat to our entire agricultural system. Without bees, Pollination of fruits, vegetables, and nuts grinds to a halt, leading to crop failures and skyrocketing food prices. We're on the brink of an agricultural collapse, and honey is becoming more precious by the day. But there's a more sinister aspect to this crisis. Imagine an enemy intentionally decimating our bee populations as a form of biological warfare. The Russians, Chinese, and other hostile actors are well aware of the fragility of our food production systems. They could use chemical agents or introduce diseases to wipe out our bee colonies, further destabilizing our food supply. Without honey, and without bees, entire sections of our agriculture would collapse in weeks. Stockpile raw, unfiltered honey in airtight containers. Choose honey sourced locally, if possible, 
to support regional beekeepers and strengthen local food networks. Consider diversifying with honey powder, which can last up to 30 years and be used in baking and cooking. If you have the means, consider learning about beekeeping yourself. It's a valuable skill that could make you a key provider in your community when food and resources are scarce. 7. Peanut Butter and Nut Butters that peanut butter and other nut butters might sound like comfort foods, but in a true crisis, they're much more than that. They're survival necessities. These nutrient-dense, high-calorie foods are packed with healthy fats, protein, and essential vitamins like E and B complex that can keep you going when other food sources run dry. Just a few spoonfuls can provide enough energy to fuel your body for hours. But let's face the harsh reality. When the nation descends into chaos, when grocery store shelves are stripped bare and food trucks stop running, these calorie-packed jars could become one of the most valuable items in your pantry. You think this sounds extreme? Just look around. Inflation is already driving up the prices of staple goods, and crop failures are decimating peanut and nut harvests across the country. The U.S. peanut crop was down by 13% in 2023 due to droughts and adverse weather. Almonds, walnuts, and other nut crops are facing similar declines, making nut butters more expensive and less available with every passing season. And then there's the human factor, the intentional undermining of our food security. The Department of Defense has warned about food terrorism, deliberate contamination or disruption of food supplies by enemy actors. Imagine a scenario where a foreign adversary or domestic terrorist targets our food processing plants. It wouldn't take much to create mass panic. Just one incident of contamination or sabotage in a major processing facility could lead to nationwide recalls, shortages, and skyrocketing prices. Our enemies know this. And while the media is busy distracting the public with trivial news stories, private companies are cutting multi-billion dollar contracts with the Department of Defense to transport people in and out of the country, creating a revolving door of vulnerability. These companies are quietly building up their infrastructure while our food production is left wide open to attacks. We're being weakened from within. 8. Salt and Spices Salt and spices might seem trivial compared to other preps, but in a true crisis, they're worth their weight in gold. Salt is a crucial mineral that your body needs to maintain proper hydration, muscle function, and electrolyte balance. In a high-stress survival situation, lack of salt can lead to debilitating muscle cramps, weakness, and even life-threatening electrolyte imbalances. But it doesn't end there. Salt is also a powerful preservative that can be used to cure meats, pickle vegetables, and extend the shelf life of your food stockpile. Now let's talk about what's happening across the country. The truth is, the supply of salt and spices is not as secure as you might think. A majority of the world's salt is produced in just a handful of countries, like China, India, and Germany. The U.S. relies on these global suppliers for much of its salt and spice needs. And when tensions rise, as they already are with China and other global competitors, access to these critical imports could be cut off in an instant. And don't forget about the potential for sabotage and supply chain disruptions. It might sound far-fetched, but think about it. Strategic attacks targeting transportation routes ports, and distribution centers could grind shipments of salt and spices to a halt. It wouldn't take much to throw our supply chain into disarray. Already, we've seen hackers target critical infrastructure like the Colonial Pipeline and major meat processing facilities. What happens when they go after the ports that handle salt imports, or the trucks and rail systems that transport these goods? Complete chaos. And then there's the other issue, inflation. Over the last year alone, prices for basic spices like pepper and cinnamon have surged by more than 10% due to supply chain bottlenecks and geopolitical tensions. Imagine what will happen when the situation escalates further. What was once a $2 jar of salt could become an exorbitant luxury, unavailable to most and fiercely fought over. Stockpile large quantities of iodized salt, kosher salt, and pickling salt. Iodized salt is crucial to prevent iodine deficiency, especially in times when fresh food sources are limited. Kosher salt and pickling salt are necessary for food preservation. As for spices, focus on essential ones like black pepper, chili powder, garlic powder, and cinnamon. These not only enhance the flavor of bland emergency rations, 
but also have health benefits and antibacterial properties. Vacuum seal them or store them in airtight containers to ensure they stay fresh for years to come. 9. Hardtack and MREs Hardtack and MREs are more than just emergency rations. They are life-saving sustenance designed for survival when the world as you know it falls apart. Hardtack is a dense, long-lasting bread that dates back to the Civil War, while MREs are the standard for military operations, containing all the calories, nutrients, and protein needed to sustain a soldier in the field. But let's make this crystal clear. These aren't just for soldiers. They're for you, because the battlefield is shifting, and it's coming to your front door. You think the food supply chain is secure? Wake up. The chaos is already brewing. The U.S. government has been quietly increasing its stockpile of MREs in recent years. Why? Because they know what's coming. They're preparing for large-scale domestic unrest, disaster scenarios, and potential warfare on our own soil. From Louisiana to Texas, California to Florida, military contracts for food supplies and emergency rations have skyrocketed as the Department of Defense braces for what's ahead. And while the government is busy stockpiling, Private airlines are cutting deals worth billions to fly illegal immigrants across state lines. Why? Because they're preparing for something bigger. These contracts aren't just about transportation. They're about positioning, about destabilizing the social fabric of this country and leaving Americans defenseless when true chaos erupts. You need to be prepared. When an enemy invasion hits or when civil unrest shatters the last semblance of order, MREs and hardtack will be more valuable than gold, with the average MRE providing 1,200, 1,500 calories, along with a balance of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, just one meal can keep you alive and functioning through extreme situations. Hardtack, with its long shelf life of up to 30 years, can be a critical source of carbohydrates when there's no bread or grain in sight. The enemy knows that the quickest way to bring America to its knees is to starve its people. A cyber attack on our food distribution networks or physical sabotage of key transport routes could cripple food supplies overnight. And if that happens, you'll be lucky if you have even a few days worth of food to get by on. 10. Pasta and noodles. Pasta and noodles are staple foods in millions of American households. But in a survival scenario, they're more than just a convenient dinner option. They're a quick, high-energy source of carbohydrates that can keep you and your family fed during extended crises. With a shelf life of up to 10 years or more when stored properly, pasta and noodles are easy to prepare, versatile, and filling. Perfect for a survival situation when your options are limited. We're facing a future where even these simple, basic foods could become luxuries. Why? Because America's wheat production is under siege. From unprecedented droughts to extreme heat waves and flooding, our agricultural heartlands are being battered by forces beyond our control. The 2023 wheat crop alone saw a 20% decline in yield, and this isn't a one-off event. It's the new normal. America imports a significant portion of its pasta and noodle supply, much of it from Europe and Asia. Supply chain disruptions, geopolitical tensions, and trade wars could choke off these imports in an instant. Think about it. One major conflict in the South China Sea or a renewed trade war with the EU, and suddenly those inexpensive packs of spaghetti you take for granted disappear from store shelves. What happens then? Panic, shortages, and civil unrest. There's also the reality of cyber warfare. Our enemies know that America's food supply chain is a vulnerable target. In 2021 alone, there were over 40 publicly disclosed cyber attacks targeting U.S. food and agriculture sectors. One successful attack could paralyze our grain milling and pasta production facilities, creating shortages that would lead to widespread panic and skyrocketing prices. If you can, learn to make your own pasta from scratch. All you need is flour, eggs, and salt. Simple ingredients that you can store in large quantities. Having this skill could be invaluable when store-bought supplies are gone. Pasta and noodles are more than just comfort food. They're a strategic stockpile item that will keep you and your family nourished when the world outside your door descends into chaos. 11. Oats and breakfast cereals. Oats and breakfast cereals might seem like a comforting breakfast staple, but when the country is plunged into chaos, they become survival essentials. 
Oats have a long shelf life, up to 25 years if stored properly, and can provide your body with fiber, protein, and energy that will keep you going in times of extreme stress. Similarly, fortified breakfast cereals can be eaten dry or with water and contain essential vitamins and minerals that will be hard to come by in a collapse scenario. But don't be lulled into a false sense of security. The food production industry is under assault. Major grain-producing regions in the U.S. have been battered by extreme weather. Devastating droughts, floods, and even late frosts have led to massive yield losses. According to the USDA, oat production in the U.S. dropped by 22% in 2023 alone. That's not a fluke. It's a sign of things to come. What happens when these shortages hit a tipping point? When even the most basic, seemingly plentiful staples become scarce? The enemy is watching. They know that America is not self-sufficient when it comes to certain food items. We import huge quantities of oats and grains from Canada and other countries. One strategic disruption, whether by cyber attack on transportation routes or geopolitical maneuvering that cuts off imports, and our breakfast tables are empty. And don't think for a moment that's not the plan. Breakfast cereals are often produced in massive factories that are highly automated. Just one successful cyber attack, one power outage or system failure, and entire facilities can be shut down. It's happened before. In 2021, a ransomware attack targeted a key agricultural cooperative, crippling its ability to process grains and cereals. Now imagine that on a larger scale. Widespread panic would ensue, with people storming grocery stores, desperate to get their hands on whatever boxes of cereal are left. 12. Cooking oils and lard. Cooking oils and lard might not be at the top of your prepper list, but they should be. Oils are an essential part of any survival stockpile, providing fats that are critical for brain function, energy, and nutrient absorption. In a crisis, when calorie-dense foods are scarce, fats become a lifeline. The average American diet relies heavily on these fats, and when they're gone, people are going to be in for a rude awakening. You think the supply of oils and fats is secure? Think again. The United States is already grappling with a shortage of vegetable oils due to poor crop yields and supply chain disruptions. In 2022, sunflower oil prices spiked by 60% due to the ongoing war in Ukraine, one of the world's largest producers. With the EU now pushing for tighter controls on palm oil imports and the U.S. restricting canola oil due to pesticide contamination concerns, the availability of cooking oils is being squeezed from all sides. This isn't just a blip on the radar. It's a growing crisis that will only worsen. And it's not just geopolitical tensions that are the problem. Cyber threats, climate change, and deliberate sabotage of processing facilities are looming dangers. Imagine what happens when hackers take aim at the power grids that keep oil refineries operational or when severe storms knock out entire regions, disrupting the production and distribution of these essential fats. Already, we've seen oil refining plants targeted, like the 2021 cyber attack that hit a key oil pipeline, causing widespread fuel shortages. Now, apply that same scenario to our food oils. How long before grocery store shelves are empty? And let's talk about lard. A staple in many traditional American households, Lard has largely been replaced by oils due to modern dietary preferences. But in a survival scenario, lard is a treasure trove of calories and a critical cooking medium when other fats are gone. Yet the pork industry, which supplies most of the lard, is under severe strain from disease outbreaks and rising feed costs. The USDA reported in 2023 that the U.S. pig herd was at its lowest level in five years due to porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome. PRRS, leading to reduced availability of pork products, including lard. Stock up on a variety of oils, olive oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil. Each has a different shelf life and nutritional profile. Store them in a cool, dark place and rotate them regularly. Consider also storing lard or tallow, which has a longer shelf life and can be used for frying and baking. Make sure to seal these products properly in airtight containers to avoid oxidation and rancidity. Don't forget powdered butter and ghee, which can last much longer and are less prone to spoilage. 13. Vinegar and baking soda. The supply of these basic items is more fragile than you think. 
Take a look at what's happening now. Since 2020, supply chain issues have created intermittent shortages of basic household goods, including baking soda and vinegar. Production of baking soda relies heavily on the availability of sodium bicarbonate, which is extracted from soda ash. This chemical compound is mined in only a few locations globally, including Wyoming in the U.S. and regions in China. Disruptions in mining, production, or shipping can easily dry up the supply. And vinegar? It's primarily produced using agricultural byproducts like corn and apples. With corn crops facing record-breaking droughts and apple orchards under pressure from late frosts and insect infestations, vinegar production is already feeling the pinch. These shortages are compounded by the rising costs of agricultural products due to inflation and supply chain interruptions. Now, think about the bigger picture. Imagine if our agricultural supply lines are targeted by a coordinated enemy attack or by cyber criminals looking to sow chaos. The FDA has already identified food production as one of the most vulnerable sectors for bioterrorism. A single contamination event or a targeted cyber attack on vinegar and baking soda production facilities could wipe out these supplies in days. Without these critical items, food preservation becomes impossible and basic sanitation and hygiene become major challenges in a prolonged emergency. 14. Emergency rations and high energy bars. Emergency rations and high energy bars are the ultimate grab and go survival foods. These compact, calorie-dense products are designed to provide maximum nutrition and energy in a small, portable package. With a shelf life of up to five years or more, these rations are built to withstand extreme temperatures, rough handling, and prolonged storage conditions. But they're more than just convenient. They could be the difference between life and death when you need to leave your home or bunker in a hurry. You think your home is your safe haven? Think again. When chaos erupts and food shortages lead to civil unrest, you might be forced to leave at a moment's notice. What happens when supply lines are cut off, grocery store shelves are stripped bare, and there's a mob outside your front door? You won't have time to cook up a meal or grab cans of food. That's where these rations and high-energy bars come in. Whether you're bugging out to a secondary location or need to go on foot for miles, these portable rations are your lifeline. Look around. America is already teetering on the edge. There are reports of increased food insecurity in major cities, and rural areas are feeling the pinch too. The U.S. Census Bureau reported that over 10% of American households were food insecure in 2022. The government is stockpiling emergency rations for a reason. They know a storm is coming. They're preparing for a large-scale emergency that could see millions of Americans scrambling for what little food is left. And it's not just domestic threats you need to worry about. Enemy nations know our weaknesses. They've studied how quickly our society crumbled during minor disruptions like the COVID-19 pandemic. Now imagine a scenario where cyber attacks disrupt our power grid or coordinated terrorist attacks target food distribution centers. The resulting chaos would force millions to flee urban areas in search of safety and resources. In that situation, emergency rations and high energy bars could be your only chance for survival as you move through a hostile environment. 15. Water purification. Tablets and filters. Because without water, none of this matters. Water. It's the foundation of life. You can go weeks without food, but only a few days without water. When the crisis hits and your water supply is compromised, what's your plan? Do you think bottled water will last forever? Do you have a reliable way to purify water when the taps run dry or when the water flowing from your faucet is contaminated? Because here's the brutal truth. Without clean water, none of your other preps matter. You'll be dead long before you can even think about using those food stores. America's water infrastructure is already crumbling. From coast to coast, outdated water systems are breaking down leading to massive water contamination incidents. Remember Flint, Michigan? It's not an isolated case. Right now, in cities like Jackson, Mississippi, residents have faced months without safe drinking water due to outdated pipes and failing treatment plants. In 2023 alone, there were over 200 reported boil water advisories across the country, communities being told their tap water isn't safe to drink. And what's worse, foreign actors are watching and they know our vulnerabilities. In 2021, 
a hacker gained access to a water treatment plant in Florida and attempted to poison the water supply by increasing levels of sodium hydroxide to dangerous amounts. Luckily, that attack was caught before it could cause harm. But it was a wake-up call, a clear sign that our water infrastructure can be infiltrated, manipulated, and weaponized against us. Imagine what would happen if coordinated cyber attacks targeted multiple water treatment facilities simultaneously. Cities would be plunged into panic as residents discovered their water supplies had been tainted or shut off completely. It would trigger mass hysteria, riots, and violence as desperate people fought to secure the last cases of bottled water from store shelves. And that's not speculation. It's a clear and present danger. Then consider the possibility of a physical attack. An EMP, electromagnetic pulse strike, or a natural disaster like an earthquake or hurricane could cripple power to water treatment facilities, rendering them useless. Without power, water can't be filtered, treated, or pumped to homes. That's millions of Americans suddenly cut off from safe drinking water. What do you think happens then? Pure chaos. Desperation drives people to extremes. They'll drink from contaminated sources, risking disease and death. Or they'll turn on each other, willing to kill for a single bottle of clean water. If you have the space, store multiple 55-gallon water barrels and ensure they're filled with treated water. Add water stabilizers to extend shelf life and keep them in a cool, dark location to prevent contamination. Also, consider adding a rainwater catchment system if you live in an area where it's legal. This can provide a sustainable water source during a prolonged crisis. You need to ask yourself right now, am I prepared? Because the threats are no longer just theories. They're here, they're real, and they're escalating. From government-sanctioned chaos to food insecurity and potential enemy invasions, What's your plan when the system fails? Stockpile now while you still can. Be ready, because if you're not, someone else will be. Share this video, subscribe, and make sure you have these 15 preps secured before it's too late. Stay safe, stay prepared, and may God bless America. Thank you for watching.